Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. It is Thursday. It is approximately noon central time. And that means it is time for Dispatching Live Load Board Search Advice. We're going to look on the load boards. We're going to talk about loads, routes, rates. Hey, what's your route scout? Do you have a uh, load route that you're looking for, you're having trouble with? Whether you're a carrier, family member, dispatcher, or just somebody in the office trying to put it all together, let us know. You can put it in the live chat. Um, we've got that going. Before I jump into the live chat, let me just say this. First of all, thank you so much for joining us today. We're going to be here for 90 minutes. And so what I want you to do is after you leave a like, please do leave a like if you get some benefit out of this dispatching advice show. And also you can click share. You see that button right below the video. Click share. Click copy. You can grab that link. You can text it, email it, share it on social media. We do have a lot of new people now watching, which is great. So thank you so much for tuning in. So throw a lifeline to a friend. Say this is it. For 90 minutes, they're going to be looking at the load boards. You can get real-time advice for a route you're looking at right now. Actual pickup, actual delivery. You know how this goes. Listen, if you have deep, burning business questions, go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up, get the weekly email blast, talk to Ty. Maybe you can be on the next round table. And hello to the live chat. We got Carlos Braxton in here, ACB Logistics. Man, never misses a show. Thank you so much, Carlos, for tuning in. And Sue, who's going to be joining us in a minute, she is Carlos's dispatcher, so he knows how this works. Um, Reese Kreitzer, you know how this works, Reese. You're here. Thank you so much. Murphy Auto Transport Services is in the live chat as well. And Ahmed Sharaf, longtime listener, first time caller. I'm just kidding, Ahmad. Listen, we try to keep it light. We, you know, I, this dispatching, there's nothing easy about it. And sometimes it feels thankless, but it's very important keeping carriers loaded. And there's more and more carriers all the time, more dispatchers all the time. So this is where we can talk about things in real time without any further delay. Sue, can you see us and hear us okay? I can, Jay. Can you hear me? I can hear you. And I can see your screen. And um, so this is it, man. This is Dispatching Live. It, it, you know, these Thursdays, how, how's it feeling now? What are we on? Like, show... I don't know, 4,000? Actually, this is show 47. Sweet. Yeah. It feels I, good. It feels I think we always have plenty of content, and, you know, I think we entertain. I keep being told we're very entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that's good entertaining or I, not, I was just going to say, hopefully that's on the good side of entertainment. Um, so that's good. We're like, yeah. now we're like a cruise ship act, right? If if you were on yeah. if you were on like some kind of a cruise <laughs> logistics cruise line LLC, we yes. might be the uh, we might be the late show, and um, you know that's where we can actually say things like, "Hey, enjoy the veal. We'll be here all week." I, t I talked to Fritz last week. That's on here. Yeah, and he said that we should take our show on the road. I didn't know what that meant, but I'm ah. like, okay. <laughs> I talked to this guy in Canada who actually, I don't know how he does it, but he put a whole uh -huh. uh, podcasting setup on the back of a pickup and he literally takes his show on the road. I really? think that's what it's called. Like, yeah. Uh, you'll have, you'll show on the road. Kind of eh? if you, I mean, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, hey. <laughs> hey, closer. Um, so listen, all right, let's go to the board. How are we doing? Is that, uh, What's our what's yeah, our what's it. our central dispatch it's, load volume? Uh, Forty eight thousand two hundred seventeen. I think we were last week at forty nine and change. So yeah. it really hasn't changed very much. And I like it when it's like this because we're like we're making really good money, and we're keeping everybody loaded. Um, I've even been doing. I mean, we've been doing short runs and making more than doing anything. Like we were running last week alone we we ran back and forth between like cincinnati and columbus to atlanta back and forth and you know as well as i do okay. coming out is always good it's going up and granted i'm not taking a hit we're not getting what i usually get to come to go up to ohio but we're making so much money coming out of ohio to atlanta it doesn't matter it was very good like i was taking six fifty seven hundred dollars a car from columbus to atlanta tell me that's not crazy <laughs> so wow i like those kind of days yeah, yeah that is good no 600 is 
I, I recall. And it is it is that for John? Is no, uh, no, this okay. was I have two drivers that live out of Atlanta, and we did them. We just kept going back and forth, back and forth to, and it's really not that very far. Uh, I mean, what is it, four hundred miles to Cincinnati no, and it, Columbus might be five. Yeah, it is. It's uh, so. I think you can, can you pick up in Atlanta and deliver? You can't deliver. Uh, you have to stay the night somewhere, right? Well, yeah, but they usually my guys will be um in like columbus or cincinnati the next morning exactly so they get all unloaded usually by yeah. noon and then we start picking up um and then we're back in the land of the next morning again same same thing and start back over that's what we were doing is yeah so he had three he had a three car wedge and we were doing um in one week yeah pickups in ohio deliver in atlanta pickups in atlanta deliver in ohio and if we could average 500, 550 per vehicle, that's three grand. And that's, yeah. you know, and plus you're at home a lot. Yeah, that was a pretty good deal. Yeah. And I mean, that's not usually, I mean, from Pittsburgh, yeah, you can always get, you know, 750 down to Atlanta. Ooh, um, nice. I think there's just so plethora of loads on here still. And I think that's what's going on. Because even from Cleveland, I took, when we went to Cleveland, Last week we did the first run was to Cleveland and then we came back down and I think we made 1950 just for two vehicles from Cleveland down to Atlanta. And then we just went right back up. So it was like back and forth. Now, don't get me wrong. That does not usually happen. <laughs> so, well, I'm just riding the wave. That's I what I call it. <laughs> I know. I, I'm always. Until it changes again. <laughs> I'm always wary to talk about something yeah. historical because you never know what will happen yeah. next week. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. by the way, uh, Devin Richards says, hey, what's going on, you guys? What's the topic? So I said, well, hey, Devin, you are the topic. <laughs> well, I asked her what she had in mind. <laughs> so. <laughs> like, what's he? <laughs> so, all right, so 48,000 is the load capacity on Central Dispatch. It's pr So it's been pretty similar for weeks now in that. Yeah. What does that what does that mean? Do we have any prognosis? Is there any kind of summary conclusion? I do not have any idea only because this is not normal. I mean, nothing's been normal about this year or or last year even. Um, I mean, I've never seen the amount of loads we had while we were doing with COVID. And we had gone back down, weren't we in the 27,000 range at at you know in January? I swear yeah. we were. No, it was and then brutal. we got the, yeah. then, it was typical brutal. Yeah, and right? we were having a hard time. Yeah. And twenty seven still is a lot of loads. Usually I'm used to, you know, I've seen it as low as thirteen oh, thousand. Thirteen loads, exactly you know? exactly. I'm thinking, yeah. 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 So this is really yeah. high. So I even mean, at twenty seven it's a lot. Forty eight yeah. is really high. I think part okay, so this is my theory on part of the forty eight. Part of the forty eight is from that two week stint of horrible weather. That's part of it. I think there's still some layers oh, of that. Then I've point. also been moving a lot of rail yard cars. Like a lot of brand new stuff is coming out on the line. And I, that has to be delayed because usually those were allowed even before January. Um, but I've been doing a whole lot of rail yard stuff. Um, hmm. Then you figure in, I don't want to say it like this, but you got a lot of repos com coming into place right now. You think, too. You think so repos are, some are uh, yeah? yeah, repos are on they, the upswing? It's going to be coming in. I think that's going to be in the upswing, yeah, unfortunately. I think well, a lot of people, they offered all those good deals to go buy out brand new cars during COVID. And I think now that we're not going to have that huge amount of money they were getting, it's kind of hard, you know what I mean, to make that You know, payment. well, what's interesting is on the repo side, um, it is, since, I mean, that's a direct correlation to society bad repo good, you, you get, just have to kind of yeah. look at it as a statistic, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but then, I mean, you always I have mean, them. There's, there's always going to be higher some, than average. There's always going to be some bad yeah. choices on on the consumer. Yeah. You know, even though the consumer is yeah. yeah. always right, <laughs> the consumer will always yeah. make some bad choices. Actually, I think that, that should be the new mug. Well, well... And I mean, I'm sorry, the dealerships were making it really easy, too, because they wanted to sell cars. I mean, dealerships might not be the right word Ooh, because it's like Ford, Cadillac, you know, they were running those sales, you know, no payments for six months. And we'll give you, you know, uh, so much down. And, you know, it's hard to 
pass that up, especially when you're sitting at home and you have nothing to do and you see these ads come on. I could totally see, oh man, yeah, I can do that. You know what I mean? No, that's funny. <laughs> so. You know, I, I gotta say, I appreciate, I appreciate the, the, you know, the viewpoint that if the deal was just too good to pass up, I mean, shoot. And now I'm being repoed. Yeah. Well, it was such a great deal. Yeah. That's an interesting point of view. Um, hey, on the live yeah. chat, yeah. and this is interesting because even Ty just Devin sent has me. A question. Yeah, yeah, Devin has a question, and this is exactly the same thing I just saw on Hotshot Car Haulers. Ty shared this. Okay, uh, what's your opinion on a two-car trailer in a highly populated city? Is it worth it, or should I just go with the three-car non-CDL operator? Great question. Thank you, Devin. Let me start from the back end of it. The three-car non-CDL operator is going to be difficult. Um, you have to base that on 26000 and one pound, and that includes your truck, the trailer, and all three vehicles on it. If you have something heavy, you're never going to take three. I mean, we had this going on with a company just like a month ago and we don't i'll be honest we don't take non-cdl drivers because there's so much work you have to put into getting all the weights of every single car and then just so everybody knows we may get the weights but you know there could be extra things on there we don't know about and then you're in you end up overweight i've had people had to leave cars on the side of the road go deliver the other cars come back and get the one um so uh if you're going to do a two car in a highly populated city i would tell you to talk to ty and I would tell you to build up your relationships and yeah. do that local stuff. Um, but just keep in mind, you have to actually go to the dealerships and work out your deals. Because if you live off a of central dispatch for a two car in a city like that, people like United Road, Ready Auto are going to put those cars on there for $65, $50. I've seen them for $30. You can't live off of that. A tow truck driver makes more money, honestly. Tow truck driver might be better than a two car trailer, honestly, because you're going to make more money. Yeah, well, um, and I, I agree with everything you said, and I'm going to add this that um, if you're yeah, if you're ready to put on your sales and marketing boots, which I think yeah. is, I don't know, I, it seems that. like it, well, it's always that's always been a it's requirement. It. It's just yeah. that we talk about it more yeah. and more. But here's the thing: when we're talking about you hear car home delivery and hub and spoke with these. You know, businesses that they're going to have nine cars still going from city to city, not going to right. the house. You're going to have some of that. Right. But I think that right. personal opinion on a two car, if you can put on your sales and marketing boots and really network, I think you can grow mm -hmm. a business, especially in yes. this growing digital home delivery economy. Everybody, yep. more and more people just want their car at their door. And I don't yeah. think, I think it's been... Carvana's, Carvana's, man, they've been, they're like, uh, they're like Elon Musk wizardry. They just, they're ahead of the curve. The fact yeah. that Carvana has, has made it seem like they're the only ones that can figure out all this flatbed branding and stuff, man, amazing. So, um, companies like Sweetie Boy Delivers and then Dravers tapping into it, they need carriers. They need sub haulers. Yeah. Be that, yep. be that go-to two car in your city it's and where i mean uh, and where are you at devin what city are you looking at to is he like in what virginia? major i think i think he's in virginia in fact sweetie sorry, boy I delivers is in virginia. i thought it was a different devin that we were talking to oh earlier. you know i i, <laughs> I could be wrong i don't know no it's a guy is it, <laughs> is it, is it, is it the same else, devin though. Okay. Yes, but I thought it was a different Devin, so sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, Devin already talked to Ty, getting a second opinion. Here's the thing, and this is where, uh, right, each individual has a separate set of knowledge. Um, I, you know, Ty is focused more on the physical auction and the dealer. And what uh -huh. I just said, I didn't say either of those things. I said home delivery, hub and spoke. Right. Um, right. And, and now, did you hear this? OEMs are now getting into retailing to the consumer. Home delivery? Dude. Uh, really? Uh, whoa, that's what dealerships are for. Wait, you're an OEM and you're right. going to skip the dealership now? Like, Head out the middleman? It's a headline on Automotive yeah. News. Dealerships are like, what are you talking about? We've worked oh, so yeah. hard to to appease you with all the colors and the carpets and everything else. And now you're going to skip us? Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. So, yeah. 
Um, that is. And ultimately, here's the really good news. And this is, you know, we talk about who sets the rate, you know, and we complain about what brokers are doing, this and that. Well, you can cut out any middleman you want to, but you still can't deliver a car without a carrier. Uh, okay. You know, dog don't gotta, hunt. All right, she's pulling up a search. What do we got? Can you uh, do northeast, northeast to, all? to all today? All right, let's do that. Can you tell me how many car hauler you are? Oh yeah, we're gonna so end we, up a whole lot of loads. Right, we need a uh, capacity or trailer or any other uh, any other filter settings to to not see the. North yeah, because I think if I put this up, like if I put this up right now, we're going to be way over. You're going to get Alaska. <laughs> You're going to get Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> but let's roll those dice anyways. Hey. Yeah. There's 12,000 loads just in that area to all. So we got to narrow it down a little bit um, other than all, I think. Um, or if you tell me to look for a certain amount. Ooh, nine cars. Oh, he's a nine car. Ryan Thanks. Durego. Sweet. Okay, that Thank helps me. Thank you. Awesome. So we're going to do a minimum of three because we could do three three packs. You know what I mean? So let's look and see what we got. Also, let's put, I'm going to put at least 35 cents a mile. Let's see what we get here. Oh, I should have probably put another filter in there. All right. That 471 loads. Wow. All right. Let's, um, do you do long runs or do you, are you looking for short runs? That way I can narrow it down a little bit further. And Devin says he's from around Washington DC area. Oh yeah. That's such oh, a yeah. great area. And I that, mean, that's a sweet area. <laughs> it is one of the things I really like about that area. And I actually, I lived up there for a while, so I know it. And people have money, and you've got all the politicians. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yes. yeah, just drive around and look at some of those houses up in, like, McLean. And, and they're, it's off, yeah, Falls Church. You, you know, there's dealerships everywhere. Yeah, go with the two-car. And you I would say can this, also Devin, set up yeah. with, um, you can go directly to IA and Copart, get set up with them as well. You can set up with Mannheim Direct as well in areas like that. Um, you, you may have to go through a few different people to get set up with this kind of stuff, but two cars are kind of made for that area because it's so tight anyways. You know, Washington, you see that none of my drivers will even go in there. What's really interesting, Devin, I think what you could do is, uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with Sweetie Boy Delivers, uh, I'm going to share the link because I think they're in Richmond. So that's in your neighborhood. And you might be able to learn from them a way to not only get business for them and be a sub hauler, but you might start to learn how to market that kind of service, home delivery, test drives, service pickup and delivery. That's another one that's growing. And I know that doesn't sound like car hauling, but in your case, well, that might be the right kind of fit. So there's a, there's, there's a lot of potential there. And I've heard... If a dealership has a high-paying customer, man, they're like, what will it take to deliver this right now? Yeah. Just tell right. me. Right. Exactly. Okay. So he said the shorter run, the better. So I've got some stuff on here out of Connecticut going down to New Jersey and Philly area. Here's a seven-pack right there. Um, I know those would fit. I don't know if that's how short of miles you're really looking. Um, this stuff is going to pay appropriately. Like, here's the Certus has... I don't know what the Chevy units are. They say three cars, but that doesn't mean anything. You have to go to their load board. But that's paying really good as long as they're not like 2,500 or something like that. Um, and Little Falls, that's outside of the Manhattan area, right? It's probably west of that's the That's New Jersey, yeah. 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 Cool. yeah. So you're not hitting no, um, you know, you're still going to have tolls. This is there's toll no bridges, city. There's but no, there's no New York there. bridges on that. Right. You're not going across New York Bridge. So that's, okay. and I try to stay out of there, so. Hey, that um, auto smart of is, Deptford, that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's probably going to them, right? Let's look. Hey, Terry. Nope, it's not. Huh. Well, are they the sender? The are they there. the receiver? Or no? Neither. They're not either. Neither. They're brokering that. <laughs> Devin's like, yeah. 
Yeah, Virgin Northern Virginia rings the register, no doubt about it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. For sure. No, your customer. Which means, Devin, if you're gonna if you're gonna pull this off, yeah, you probably need to spend a little bit of money on like some kind of outfit, get some branding, yep. get a name, and yep. again, look at Sweetie Boy Delivers. I tell you, I'm really impressed with the way that company is marketing itself. They're growing. They're in tow, home delivery, all that, all that stuff that the nine car guys thinking I don't really want to do. Yeah, yeah, delivery. Yeah. And <laughs> okay. It'll be three. Like you wanted to look <laughs> slick. That's why I would describe right. it. Because you're gonna deal with some high end stuff. So your your equipment, everything, you're gonna want it to be like, slick looking. Like a so racing that's... outfit or something. But I mean, and there's a reality, there's you know. And this goes for the equipment too, <laughs> True. right? The equipment. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, the equipment. Right. Yeah, you and want... you're gonna want some yeah, you're gonna want some like photos, right? Get some great mm -hmm. photos, beautiful Nice day. brochure yeah. or something like that. Ooh, man. So you, so you look different than everybody else. Because I guarantee you this happens. People go in there. But, you know, they're going to pay attention to someone coming in with a brochure uh, uh, over than just a business card. If you're wanting to do local, spend a little extra money, get yourself built up, and and then off to the races you go. <laughs> so. Man, I'm getting excited. Sounds like a great idea. Right. And then, and then... So, uh, if you if you're able to stay busy, find somebody that can man the phones for you, right? Right. Right. You Get always that. want to answer the phones. You stop answering the phones, they're going to stop calling. And that's why dispatching sure. again. This is this is part of the ecosystem because somebody's got to do all this administrative stuff, request the certificates, yada yada yada. So. There are, I, I mean, there's 10,000, I don't know if this is legit, by the way, but <laughs> there's 20 pickups, 20, 25 uh, hundreds for $10,000 from Massachusetts to Detroit. Let me look and see who this is. Okay, bad news, by the way. Um, JD just shared this. We were talking about this on DOT Compliance yesterday. Um, the House has passed the PRO Act with the ABC test they can make least owner operators a thing in the past anyways there seems to be i'm just gonna say because you know I've, I've, I've talked about the war on dispatchers and there's there seems to be a war now on uh independent contractors which is uh -huh. not that's not good uh i don't know we're talking about oh man this legal mumbo you're jumbo. talking about like so you have for example, like United Road leases on owner operators underneath them. Is that what we're talking about? Well, um, I'm going to try and find a link to this. Yeah, House Passes Pro Act. Okay, so this is a day ago. I'm just going to share this link. Since I, I the, the topic just in general frustrates me because there shouldn't be a war on independent contractors. Every single industry has fringe members that want to run their own business and work for who they want to work for. And those are independent contractors or maybe in trucking, as they call it, a lease on based on, you know, the structure of the deal. Right. Leased on owner operators probably falls in this category. But anyways, there's a war on independent contractors and I guess we're losing the war. So I shared a link in the live chat. We're going to move on from this topic. But, J.D., thanks for sharing that. And, and really, that's what this show's all about. You know, it's not just route scouts or gate passes. If you got something to share that is affecting the ecosystem, please do put it in the live chat. I appreciate that, J.D. And then now we have to move on before I just get upset. Okay, so let's go back to what we're looking at here. Like I said, there's... 20 2500s i don't know if that's just an odd listing i i'm not sure if i trust that um unless there's is there a rail yard up in massachusetts Ooh. now that they're a 2018s they're 2018 so they're not it's not going to be a rail yard um and i don't know how many you could carry on a nine car either but they're paying 71 cents a mile so it's actually good money and if you end up in detroit you know you get bank out of there so um i also like this one right here and I'm not sure where he's coming out of. So we're just 
looking at all these loads, by the way. So there's a three pack for wholesale out of Boston area going to Fairfield, Cincinnati area, which are paying wonderful here too. I guarantee you can find more to go with this. Um, this There's a four pack of these from Bordentown to Bloomington, Indiana for $2,100. There's a lot of good loads on here today, by the way. Yeah. Um, the only thing I could see might be a problem for you is this. They're saying that this is a high top van on this cargo van. Right. I'm sure that would delete some of the stuff, like how many cars you could actually take with that one. Yeah. Here, um, Assertus has a five pack. Um, they're not cars. They are all SUVs or trucks going down to Charlotte. Another good place. Um, I like Charlotte. They usually run several like packs out of there where you can always keep your guy loaded. Um, here's a short run for Assertus is a nine pack. That's only going 19 miles for 540. If you're talking short, short miles, there's a short, short mile in. Um, yeah, he did say he said shorter the here, better. 19 miles. Yeah. Wow. Carvana. Yeah. I'm surprised Carvana it's not a drive it away. a decent pack on here. Yeah. And um, they've got nine vehicles out of Delanco going up to Rochester for 2,500. That's a nine pack. Um, and Carvana knows how to load a nine car. So if they say they've got nine, it's going to fit you. Um, and Must pick also, up tomorrow. you got to be signed up with them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, um, wow. Dispatch or Carvana.com? Wait, is that? Oh, that's, yeah, that's an email. Me. Okay. Do you still yeah, you go to ePay for Manager for the load board? Yeah, if you're signed up with them. If you're not signed up with them, you have to get signed up. And sometimes that's a process, man. Sometimes that's an all-day thing. But um, definitely, if you're a bigger car hauler, you need to be signed up with, like, Carvana, Assertus, Supreme. These are all the big, like, they run nine packs, More six packs, seven crown. packs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You want to be signed up it that way you can do this kind of stuff. Also, some of these people specialize in this area, like Carvana, that's their lot in Delanco. So, um, and I don't know where he's based out of if he's running out of Massachusetts, Connecticut, or New Jersey. We're just looking at the whole East Coast side here right now. Um We didn't get a starting city got. then, did we? Mm -mm. No. Okay. No, he just said all northeast to all. So we're just looking at tip. Kinda, if you're a family member or a dispatcher, if you're looking for loads, don't wait for more specific information. Just go ahead and start looking. Yeah. Let's see. These are shorter mile stuff. You know, you got six packs. They're up in New York, going over to Connecticut. Supreme has a bunch of stuff. They always have a bunch of stuff. Um, What's Mechanicville? Like, Is that a rail? I don't know. I don't do a lot of New York anymore. Yeah, I don't know. But no. if you look right here, it says I can build you a load of any size. So they may have <laughs> okay, it's a yeah, yeah, that's a rail yard. Yeah. Or it's, it's a plant because it's not a port. Right. Yeah, it's probably rail. And see, and they're not. What year are they? Let's see. Let's. Yeah, they're twenty twenty ones. I bet it's a rail yard. Mm -hmm. Look, they're all. Yeah, I'm that's gonna go to the. Map. I'm curious, Mechanicville. I'm gonna go look at my map on that. Look up Dodge is what it looks like. Dodge Jeep. Mechanicsville. Oh, no. We got? we got another six pack here for $4,000 up in Farmingdale, New York. Oh, wow. Sale. That is. That's only six. That's vehicle. an interesting what is spot. It? it could actually be. It could be rail or. Well, it's not going to be. It's on the Hudson River. I bet it's a rail yard or a port, yeah. Right? Well, usually they put on here, Supreme will put this is port, you know what I mean? Yeah. Really interesting Because not everybody can go there. I'm trying to yeah. find the rail yard on the map. I'm zooming in. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> Crazy. I'm surprised I can't seen see. several oh, loads yep. going to Chicago. There's a, there's a couple of guys playing cards in the uh, lot. Okay, I'm kidding. Right. So this Google, is Google <laughs> this is also going to bring us Pittsburgh area. It looks like we've got stuff out of Pittsburgh. Um, there's some more Pittsburgh to Detroit. Wow! If you're just joining us, That's we're only thirty minutes deal. of the show. We got an hour That's left. Enough. Feel free to go ahead and leave a like and share a link. We got another hour left. And if you have a route you want us to, if you have a dispatching question. Or an idea, or a thought, or a concern, or hey, how you doing? How's how's the new Central Dispatch working for you? I see it's working really well. Um, 
<laughs> I'm not using it still. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? That was a good I'm one. Hey, to the bitter end. You got me. Right. Man, I, I love that I haven't checked to see if they've changed anything. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yes, we had our little conference with them. Yeah. And at the end of the conference, the only thing that kind of worried me was I was asked if I could only have one thing on my list of my <laughs> complaints, shall we say, what would it be? And I'm like, really only one? Because there's a lot of things wrong. We need more than one. I, I gave them what I thought, but honestly, all the stuff we're asking for was stuff that was on the old load board. So it really has to be on there. Otherwise it just doesn't make any sense. So, so I haven't checked it to see if they've changed anything let's yet. Play the, let's play the game. If you can, if, Let's go ahead and play this game. If they can only fix one thing, what would it be? From your list. How I told about, them I wanted yeah. the filters to stay the same. That's what I told them. That we didn't yeah. have to keep That's them actually, and, and, and that is very good. Out. Yes. So, meaning like, if you've changed it to 100 mile radius, that's your new default. Is mm -hmm. that right? Right. Well, not just that. It was because I, I just put it in one category of like, OK, so if your filters are set up for one hour and they're at the top or an and also like I want um, 500 listings shown every single time or um, it was all the filtration system, because what was happening is every time we pull up a new page, you have to start over from scratch. I mean, you're scratch every single time and that is a pain and we shouldn't have to do it. I mean, that's just my opinion. But. <laughs> <laughs> I told them what I thought. What about typing and I think every if, state? If more that's, people is that will. At the, top? At the what? Ty Say that again. The need that you have to type every state. Yes, I complained. I, I had a huge long complaint list that I we went over everything a on the floor. Big one. Dude, but, typing and the also, state like, every many, time? That's crazy. Well, dude. yes, and and how many miles are actually from the distance that you put oh, in from God, your parameters are not on there? See, here's yeah, the thing. I mean. All right, here's what I'm going to say. I'm I'm going to guess that some of those things are going to get fixed over time anyways. Like the mileage, I think they'll just fix that. Yes, I think they'll have to. Right? They'll I mean that just <laughs> So that that so we we can set that aside. And probably typing right. every state, they'll, you know, My somebody name. will figure that out. So I like yeah. your search default because that one may not be so obvious. It's good. Yeah. It's good stuff. Well, and I honestly, I, you know, I've done a lot of meetings with them and I, and I don't know why some of this stuff got changed. You asked them the same thing. I don't know why we had to do this because things were working okay. And this has made it more difficult and yeah, we don't understand it either. And, you know, it I I, makes it, I got, <laughs> I got, I got philosophical because I feel like that's yes. my role. Like, yeah. <laughs> Because actually, it's a marketing thing. Yeah. Being questioning, yeah. questioning the question is a marketing thing, and so you, yeah. a marketing department should always, at some point, turn back around and say, "Why are we doing this?" Right. That's a you marketing said. Something, you told them something about the the holders. <laughs> so you said something about the holders. Yeah, the the holders of the company. Um, the, oh, no, uh, the shareholders. Ah. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you said oh, you the shareholders. We can't talk about the shareholders anymore. I don't want to get any letters. <laughs> okay, hey, you know what time it is? Speaking of, speaking of the new look, you know what time? It's time for mug o problems. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's hear it. <laughs> Every one of these what? problems cracks me up. You can't read it, but it's so simple. It just says it's 24-7. Dispatching, sometimes you don't get a break. You'll dream, you'll dream about the route. You'll wake up in the middle of the night <laughs> regretting something you booked. You'll regret yep. something you yes. said. You'll rethink a negotiation. You'll be like, oh, my God. I know we could have got another hundred bucks. You'll imagine going back through and making different choices. It's twenty four seven. Yeah. Okay. Muggle problems kills me. 
Um, all right, so we don't have a route scout. Oh, hey, you've got a story, Sue. Um, what was the one something about Alabama? And let's see here. I want to try to give you clues without saying any company names. Uh, oh, CarMax? CarMax? Mobile, Alabama, CarMax? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> I sent a driver down there, um, and he was picking up at the CarMax down there. We had verified it, um, came through a big, big broker, um, and, we, and we've and we always said there's only three brokers that handle CarMax, so you guys can figure it out. Anyways, um, so we verified it, driver goes over there, and CarMax manager says we can't have the car. And we're like, why? Well, we don't have the title. What? <laughs> it's going to another CarMax. What does it matter, right? Nope, we are no longer releasing cars if we do not have the title. So we said, we call the broker up and we tell them what's going on. And they're like, okay, you just wait there until I get this worked out. And we're like, look, you can't tell CarMax what they're going to do, but I'll wait for a little bit for you. Oh my God. Right. Guess what happened? What? So two hours later, they still had never called us back. Now, keep in mind, I'm right. not that dumb. I already yeah, set my driver cares. moving. All right. Nobody's worried about the transporter. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we finally call him back and uh, and because she said she said if you wait for me and i don't get this figured out i'm giving you a dry run fee and this oh, broker never great. gives out dry run wow. fees, and i actually got it so, wow you got the yeah. dry run fee but, yeah they never how much time did back. you lose yeah a couple hours waiting for them to call you well, back well yeah but i did i didn't let my driver say i told him to go on <laughs> and see, I just, that's because yeah, you're savvy for right as hours, soon as the, back uh totally <laughs> it, what go pick up something else in that city right <laughs> Or well, no, I just you... told him to go on. I said, go on up north and start picking up your other cars. This isn't going to happen, and we'll okay. find something along your route. Wow. And I said, I'm going to get money out of them, though, because they said that. And she said, you know, you'll wait for us. And I, I waited two hours just because I was going, this is what I did, I, we said. So we've been sitting here for two hours waiting yeah. to hear back from you guys. Nobody's called us back. Oh, we didn't? No, you didn't, because we know they don't do it. We all know they don't do it. And I said, well, you said that if it didn't happen, you're going to give us dry run fee. Well, yeah, we're going to give you a dry run fee. It gave us 160 bucks. They never do dry run fees. Wow. Way, so I was shocked out of my gourd. Even my driver was like, you really got that kind of money out of them? I was like, yeah. So That's a really yeah, interesting story for many well. reasons. Like, number one, what was with the title if it's an intra-company move? Yeah, what? it was going from CarMax to CarMax. It didn't what? make any sense. What do you think happened there? Why does it matter? The only thing I can think of is if they already the had it DOT sold to somebody care. that we were moving it. Right. No, they don't care. We don't care if we have but a yeah, right. At the, but yeah, right. But if they had it sold in Dallas and they couldn't, they wouldn't be able to give it to the people because it didn't have the title. Right. But usually you don't have a title anyways unless you're buying it outright, right? Well, and this is you're where, you know, financing. it's so interesting. That's why whenever I hear title... And registration, uh -huh. I used to just groan yeah. and ignore it, right? Yeah. Groan and ignore. Yeah. Now my ears perk yeah. up because title and registration is way more. Uh, the c customers have expect customer expectations have gone through the roof. Thank you, Amazon. And the thing is that now, as soon as I was talking about this Tuesday yeah. night, as soon as a customer places an order. Man, they just assume everything is in, like, underway. I'll have the title. I'll have yeah. the plates. I'll have my popcorn. You know, like... Yeah. No. Or my champagne. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, meanwhile, there's a DMV, you know, in the backwoods going, no, we don't do it that way. You're going to have to wait six weeks. You know, like, so it's crazy what goes on with title registration and paperwork and now all the digitization expectations so i would love to know i'm not going to find out but i'm going to keep my ears open what happened at that carmax what was the case that caused that policy uh, i would love to know yeah i don't know either yeah because he said they just changed the policy that's they were not letting cars and leave if they didn't have the title with them but and i don't remember honestly and but i don't ever ask my drivers if they get a title at carmax but i didn't know they even picked up the titles and brought them to the other place <laughs> to be honest with you so must be they do i don't know certain star 
Chris but God forbid if you forget to use their bill of lading at CarMax. <laughs> Well, if and, and you know what, that's interesting. So they have their own. Do, do they have a mobile app, CarMax? Um, no. So you either use the mobile. Okay. So there's three companies that usually handle CarMax cars. Oh, and, right. You know, like a right, right, know. right. Thank you. So, In this instance, the broker has their own app. Right. right. In this one, but yes. the other guys don't have um, apps for it. I there's one of the, the other one that ones does. did. By the way, I really appreciate that we're not mentioning company names because as this channel grows, it's better in general if we don't. Um, so we can, but we can talk about. But what are you saying? So, so they have their app because nowhere in the app does it ask about titles and stuff, right? Right. No, so. we usually don't any deal with that. It's you know, just make sure to use a CarMax BOL. And some of the car maxes are using an e-bill system, which I actually appreciate because what will happen is if the driver loses the piece of paperwork, which happens all the time, at least that e-bill system will catch it and you've got it at least. So, uh, well, and, and another reason why this is it, to some people right now, what we're talking about, we're talking about a CarMax car that couldn't get moved because the title, they didn't have the title at the location. And then we're talking about mobile apps and titles inside the mobile app. And that might all be really, really boring because it has nothing to do with gold bars, right? Gold, right. gold, gold bars. Right. But the thing is that it's this minutia that will stop you from making the gold bars that you thought you were going to make that day. Right? It's the minutia. And that's why these stories are pretty relevant. Oh, here we go. Certain states are back log getting titles. Right. We used to move cars from New Jersey to Virginia, which had better access to titles. I'm in Turnersville CarMax store. Oh, that's right. Chris, that's right. Chris uh, has, you know, knows a lot about CarMax. Yes. Which is really, I find that really interesting, Chris. Um, because that... Man, that level of knowledge can benefit you as you develop your transport business. Um, which is why, like, sometimes Ty will say, me and Ty will be talking. And we're talking about, yeah, this so-and-so wants to get into car hauling. And I like to ask, okay, well, what did they do before? Or what do they do now? Because if you say, like, proctologist, I'm like, oh, man. We got a major learning curve. <laughs> but if you say, like mechanic or yeah dmv employee something related to understanding the minutia of what happens in the marketplace you're much better off so the pro yeah. if you're a proctologist sure. and you're thinking about getting into car hauling hey we'll you know we'll talk to you <laughs> but um yeah have money saved because you're going to lose a lot of time and uh and uh brain cells so. <laughs> okay um all right man we are really light on the route scout searches i did search yeah. for and that's okay that's no problem at all we're, we're made for this um i'm gonna take your screen for a second i got an what am i sharing okay. here oh yeah i did want to mention this okay so next thursday we need to talk about this next thursday is the iara transportation and logistics uh panel and Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Um, let me share this. Take two. IARA, Transportation and Logistics Panel, is next Thursday the 18th. And why does that matter? Uh, well, I am the moderator uh, at 3.50 p.m. Oh, Eastern. Okay. Yeah. So, that is 2.50 Central. So, I'm trying to figure out if we're going to do a show next Thursday. Um, because I got to log in early oh, and it's gotcha. not, and it's not just our panel. It's an all day event where there's going to be other discussions that I'm going to want to, uh, listen in on. So I'm, I'm kind of thinking, and given that we're, given that we're so thin on route scouts, I think we're going to take the day off next Thursday. Um, and oh, look at okay. this, look at this. Yeah. Um, we got Joe Kickler from Mannheim Logistics. Actually, I met him oh, cool. in 2019 and at, uh, it was used car, no, 
Was it NAD? I can't remember. I think it was NADA. I think it was before right before COVID, 2020. Uh, Adam Lore from Assertus. Uh, Ray Moran from United Road. And Eric Rosenau from Vroom. They're all going to be, I'm, I'm going to be moderating the panel. We're going to be talking about different topics. And actually, it's kind of cool because Tuesday night's show was, um, I did a show called Carrier Dealer Remarketer. And we talked about um, car dealers, auto transporters, auto auctions, digital auctions, um, technology. I mean, I took a bunch of notes. Used car sales being up, tighter supply. By the way, that's really interesting too, is that for a dealer, you can reshare your screen again, Sue, when you're ready. For a dealer, okay. um, it's when they go to the auction, they're paying more for cars. They're paying more for cars now than they did for that same car previously. Um, and manufacturing yeah, plants, too. new car production is down. So for a dealer, uh, supply is tight and limited, and yet... Go back to that central dispatch search. When you look at the load board, the numbers are up. Oops. So that's kind of weird. Oops. Yeah, numbers are way up. That's interesting. They don't match. Yeah. They don't match at all. Yeah. Um, Chris says, yes, info superhighway. Where's the on-ramp? Thanks, Chris. That's super cool. I appreciate that. Um, Terry, that's me wanting to get into car hauling. Terry is a proctologist. I'm kidding. I'm a telecom repair or lineman worker. Hmm, cool. That'll be good. That'll, that'll really, the, your previous occupation will benefit you in your future occupations. That's good. Albuquerque, New Mexico, last week was junk with Sue. How is it this week? Oh, New Mexico, that's right. Let's go look. Terry wanted to look at Albuquerque. Okay. Well, cool. Thank you, Terry. And if you're already, make sure you're already signed up as an ATI insider. Um, again, go to autotransportintel.com, click on sign up. And we'll put you in touch with Ty. We'll give you the weekly email. You don't have to do those things. It's just a recommendation. Plus, you know, on the Auto Transport Intel homepage, you can you can join the playlists for like, uh, you know, well, in this case, obviously, you're in a good place for dispatching. You definitely want to tune into Cars on the Move on Fridays, where we talk about dealers, auctions, carriers, building your customer. And then you're going to want Wednesdays as well. Wednesdays is the DOT compliance, which is you start up, man, right? Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, so, okay. So, on Terry, we're, I can't remember, Albuquerque to where, did go, or just Albuquerque did, out? Did we, did we do south, southeast? I feel like we did. I that's, cannot remember. Terry, that's my refresh guess. memory. <laughs> yeah, Terry, we got Albuquerque to... Is it California, Arizona? Yeah, right. It's either that, right. It's either uh, south, okay. southeast, or southwest. Yeah, could be. But I feel like, I'm, I'm guessing east. That's my guess. I'm going to put my, put my chips in, right? I bet one on east. Shake them up. <laughs> oh, I, I rolled swear it was early. Arizona, California, or LA, or was LA, it? LA, or something Well, like let's that. do both. Let's, I let's, swear it was. Let's, let's see. say he doesn't let's know do which one. Let's see if we can figure out a recommendation. Based on things today. All right. We're just. Or was it? Uh, Thank you, Chris. I, I really appreciate that. Usually, I'm really, really appreciate that. that, Chris. And it's growing, man. It's really neat. Um, just two years ago, I had some people like, "Why would you make a YouTube channel about auto transport?" A lot less people asking oh, that question. Oh, Terry Brown says people. anywhere. Oh, he says anywhere. Just stack the money. Like Fat Stacks LLC. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jennifer, look, I can't. Okay. So, anywhere. Uh, well, I put it into Arizona, but let's just. Okay, so I'll put Albuquerque to Alden here. Okay, hold on. Come on. Can I get something other than a truck? And Terry, what what was the size of your trailer? Was he a three car? Uh, yeah, I think it was either three or four. I don't four. know how much money to put on here. And he says oh, you I looked did look up, up both. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, so 
We're going to at least put 50 cents a mile just so we don't see all the junk here. Let's just do that. Well, in the southwest, you won't get anything. That's... <laughs> all right, so look at that. And it's really not picking up in Albuquerque. It's picking up in Teo, so... All right, there's one going to Riverside. Florida, Georgia. Pretty sad I put 50 cents a mile. We're getting only 80 loads out of a 100-mile radius of Albuquerque. I like that drives fine, private to private. That's but The problem is it's a 58 Impala. Three. Okay. Yeah, he's a, a, he's a three car. He is a three. Well, he can take that as long as we took smaller stuff with I it. Know, um, right? Let's see if there's anything else still going to Riverside here. There's some stuff going to Arizona, but both cars arrives have no keys and are in ops. Ah. And okay, you like it? Um, here's another one going to LA. There's another one going to LA. These are kind of weak. The only one that's good price is that one that's first up there. So let's yeah. kind of take a gander here. And I know we can't take two trucks, so we're just gonna. Mm. That one's a co-part. Mm. Mm. Um, San Diego. You want to do? Oh, those are both I mean, trucks. Mm. Yeah, and it's twenty-five hundred and F one fifty. And I wouldn't do San Diego with LA. That's just too much. Um, <laughs> Wheels on Wheels has another... <laughs> Michael's just dying for a red card. But you filtered him out. Ah! Oh, I filtered him out. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll put That's it back up here. Right one, <laughs> you know what we'll do? Um, we'll just do we'll do like a red load segment. Just for you, Yes, Michael. we will. <laughs> um, here's a... Two pack going to Richmond, Kentucky, but if you notice, it's double brokered oh, no. with these two brokers. Who you know, those are red card brokers. <laughs> Is that red yellow? Call. I'm just gonna go. I'm just throwing up the yellow until I know more. Yes, do it now. Um. <laughs> did now? Did we say that we're? Do we have kind of a mental running list of companies that tend to double broker? I know. Yes. Do we have a double I broker do. list? Is any anybody in the I, line I need chat, to make who's keeping track of the double broker list? Because I don't know if we can. Because if we do, uh, then you know, then that's I don't know. It'll be brought up later. You know. Eh, well, I guess they should probably do what they're supposed to do then. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know. Anyways. <laughs> Oh, look, there's some good... Oh, this is another... Okay, so this is another double broker. Both of these companies, I'll do okay, this. Okay, now, wait a um, minute. You mean ACVs and a double broker? No, okay. No, yeah, I was going to say that. Two. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm surprised he doesn't have the same one listed because these oh, three... Oh, right. Oh, man, yeah. We're, we're, it's <laughs> it's double seen broker it city <laughs> over here. <laughs> woo <-hoo! laughs> Yep. <laughs> that wow, is crazy, man. Stuff going to this is so crazy. <laughs> All right. Well, let's mm. see. There's some stuff going to South Carolina. Here's some stuff going well, into Dallas. This past. isn't bad, Pain. Um, this. Hey, I like that. I like good. that company name. Do you see that Shipwit? Let me know. She Ship is. Is that not? Ship yeah. Shipwit. That's funny. I think I've actually taken loads from them before. Are you set up with United Road? Here's a one for United Road. There's a bunch going to Dallas, too. Um, some of them are good. Some of them are not. Let's see. Yeah, There's Dallas is a good... Right? Dallas is good from Albuquerque because you're not going to... It's a regular like, run. Yeah, it's just a regular You're run. always going to see that stuff on there. And now, I mean, you, so you're going to get people them? not paying well, and then you're going to have people paying decent. So, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand. There's some stuff going to Austin on here, too, it looks okay. like. All right, thank you. Uh, oh. There's a lot going to Houston. I don't do Houston just because. <laughs> Which one? Yellow, Why? yellow hat time. Yellow hat time. Yellow hat time. Do I have a yellow hat? Yeah. 
We sent him a text right now. Yellow hat. Dad. Famous? I think, I'm like a... I just gave him a pickup. I think I've been Sorry. confused. <laughs> Yellow hat time, Jay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but I like it. Um, and we also do have another search request from BM. Okay, so I'm going to check these off and see how many we got here. But let's, that yeah. Going. I like, uh, it seems so, like, here's the good news is it's not dead, right? There's some, no, there's some things. It's not dead, dead, dead. It's not dead. Yeah. The problem is the stuff going to California, I think, is too cheap, um, especially when they're 2500s and 1500s. You know what I mean? And you, I know he's got a three car, unless he's got a three car flat that has flip outs, he can't take, you know, two pickups, and especially not a 2500 and a 1500. Um, and these are only 50 cents a mile. If well, you took this Chevy yeah. Impala, that's going to be a boat. Personally, so you, you could take this. <laughs> here we go. What? Dallas or Los Angeles? Dallas. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's no, that, there's no question. No question. Agreed. No question. Dallas, you're going to be able to get out of for sure. And secondly, um, at least in Dallas, if you go for a mile, you don't have to drive for two hours as well. And that's exactly I mean, don't get right. wrong. Dallas yes. is busy, but it's nothing like LA. I mean, I know and he's got he's got family in California, but um, I gotcha. that's but that's not part of your route today. You know. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. So okay, do I do, let's okay let's take off my then we'll put back on the red flags just see how bad it is really quick and then we'll go on to our next one. How's that? All right. All right. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna throw up a red card for Houston. Houston gets a red card. Because Michael wants to see it, and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. All right. So oh, shoot, we have a hundred and so I put all, and there's still only 116 loads. That's kind of scary right there. And I will be honest, Albuquerque is usually kind of difficult um, yeah. to get in and out of. This it, is a, actually a decent amount of loads right now. So. And I did, but um, I did book a guy. He was a three car. He was out of mm -hmm. Albuquerque. That was one of my very first drivers. And we would run really? into Texas and back. Yeah, that was our loop. Uh -huh. yeah. I had one that did the exact same thing, too. Um, I just know that over the last couple of years, the loads have died out quite a bit from that run. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. So I don't think that's COVID related. It happened before that. Um, let's see. Where's our... I sit in a chair and get up. Craptastic loads at here. <laughs> Craptastic? Is that, isn't that a problem? Oh. <laughs> okay, so we're here, here's some right here. Okay, so anytime you're going to Florida, you're going to see this anyways. So here's some Florida stuff. Come on, Craptastic really... LLC. Yeah. God, that's funny. Yeah. Party of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This one going to Pensacola is not bad, but, you know, that's probably the only thing going to Pensacola. Yeah, right. Um, there's Pompano Beach. Well, now, wait a minute. 30%. Whoa. You got... What? Oh, isn't... Yeah, Pens Sarasota and Pensacola. Pensacola is... No, they're no? nowhere near each other. Pensacola no. is by Fort Walton Beach. And, oh, yeah. Uh, okay. You know, Alabama shores. <laughs> this is where... Get a map, Jay. <laughs> Phil used to say that. Get a map, Jay. <laughs> and here's like okay so here's another 34 cents a mile and columbus georgia which you don't want to go there either that's nowhere near atlanta it's that's about south hundred miles right south, south georgia yeah. yeah yeah and that doesn't pay yeah. enough no um here's a four pack i'm really shame on you right way um oh ouch oh we got one yeah red load yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Ghostbusters. Yeah. We got one. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That, no, when you got seriously, one. let's dissect this for a minute. Yeah, you've got a truck, three SUVs. Why? Because it's going to Boston. Yeah. Why? Because it's going twenty two hundred yeah. miles. Yeah. All, you got oh, look, all, it's actually going to New Hampshire. Oh, excellent. Location is me. Oh, my God. So it's God. even going further. So that's not even 36 cents a mile. Lag on the play. That's horrible. That sucks. And, and this is a double brokering right here. I know it says G30, but look, it's going to Oh, that's, both places. that's what we that's call that's creative that. double brokering, where you yes, change where the people. year. Yep. <laughs> That happens all the time. Oh my god, this that is so new. funny when they do that. 
I want to see if this is a transporter because I have a feeling. God, it might that be. is awesome. Yeah, because the other guy says he has the contract. No, they're Although, a broker, believe it or not. Sweet old lady. Huh. You know you can't wow. you can't trust that have have contract. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, probably not. <laughs> right. Um. Let's see. Yeah. Let they're me get still... my. Uh... Okay, so listen here. We have the contract. I swear it. I promise. Oh, the year? Yeah, don't forget about it. <laughs> what? Oh, man, that's so funny, Okay, so dude. there's... See, this is what I was talking about, this local stuff earlier, when I said they're going to put them on here for, you know, $50, $60. Oh, yeah. I, I know it's only six miles, but that's still... I guarantee you... That six miles will still take the driver two hours. Seriously? Just because of picking up, just tying call, it down, call Uber. unloading it. Just call, call an yeah. Uber driver. Come on. Yeah, drive that sucker. That's yeah, not that an auto sense. transport. That's not right. No. No. I agree. Yeah. This this makes this one even worse. <laughs> so 60 bucks, you're going 101 miles for 59 cents a mile. Who's going to do that? <laughs> you should Doesn't call them. Sense. You should literally call them. Because this is... Right, of all the companies, this one you can call. Somebody will answer yeah. the phone, right? Yeah. And you may be on hold for 30 minutes, but yes, right. answer the phone. This actually <laughs> sounds like a great science project. Just call them <laughs> and say, what are you doing? Oh, can we go get it? That's funny. All right. By the way, the opinions expressed on this channel are random and unprecedented. Because you'll have to have it. Uh, how you guys doing in the live chat? She's, uh -huh. you know, negotiating. That will work. You know, yes, Sue I'm runs an office. <laughs> Sue, exactly. Sue runs a busy dispatch office. She also has a broker's license. I'm going to share the link to uh, Murphy Auto Transport. If you need a dispatcher, a broker, you're shipping a car. If I get a random, I send them over. If I get a random, hey, I need to ship a car. Do you know anybody? Send it over to Sue. She's a fully licensed broker. She knows what she's doing, and she cares about drivers, customers, the ecosystem. So thank you, Sue, for what you do. No problem. I appreciate you guys listening to me. Um, also, <laughs> by the way, I do have a spot open for one of my outside dispatchers if anybody's needing a dispatcher. Ah, um, really? So yeah. say so if if there's if you're a carrier and you need a dispatcher. You've got a dispatcher in house that's available for another to take on another driver. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. And, um, give me a call. You know, four one seven two seven three zero zero two one, or shoot me an email at murphyautotransport thirty one at yahoo dot com. So, going through here, I think that was the worst of the loads on there that we red carded. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, don't get me wrong. Stuff going to Houston is not paying like. Yeah. That's 43 yeah. cents a mile, and you've got to go up to Santa Fe to go get it. And oh. that's going to the port. Freeport oh, oh. port. Freeport. Okay, did you see? We ran a video. Oh, my gosh. i got to run this video. Do you want to see this crazy video? Okay. This yeah. is crazy. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I ran this Tuesday night. It's absolutely crazy. Um, Let's see here. Let me find this thing. And, oh, and we also have Ask Larry. So we have 30 more minutes. And we can check out the Ask Larry. Um, I'm just queuing up this video. Stand by. This is the line. Okay, this is nuts. This is the line to deliver. At 8 o'clock this morning, this is where the line starts. Oh, yeah, I saw that the other night. I yeah. got here at 4. That's crazy. 18 this morning. Yeah, Ty gave it to you, right? Yes. And... I'll show you where I'm at. This that's is some the regular, crazy dude. bullshit that's going sad. on. That's why it is in Baltimore, too. At the port of Freeport. Right. And, they, and they don't even get paid 50 cents a mile on it's these cars. It's making no sense time. anymore. Dude. It's just it, crazy. It looks the like the road warriors when people are waiting to for have to start gas. charging for the time. Not just yeah. picking up the cars that's and insane. driving them down here safely. And then you got all the dark yes, but, receipts. Uh, you got to make your money work that time, bro. Because right now... He said the guys in the back won't even get, get in. Two days in. Today, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Some guys I've at had the people end take of this stuff line. To Baltimore. That's why I don't do the port drivers unless they just that's what 15, they want. 
But I've literally had I'm one of the drivers when he said, "Oh, I'll do the port." Get into the he port spent two today. days there. And the crazy and thing about after the that, port I is, said, you still want to do the port? And he's like, "No." At eleven he said, okay. forty-five. <laughs> Moving on. We won't do that again. They take a recess break. Honestly, I mean, when we take on drivers, on we try break. to give them our best. I mean, they don't come advice. back till. But I know they hear stories while they're out on the road. And making a this, and making so, this and stuff like that. Tell so me I who was, takes a you know, one hour, 20 minute we break. We work for you guys. We'll do whatever you tell you us. You see the line still going? I can only give you advice. Drivers, transporters, everybody's frustrated already. Wow. Holy this is not working wow. out. Man. I know, man. That and was a handsome and action has, truck, I think. This is where I'm at right here. How many miles back is this thing? I don't let you see my company. <laughs> it's Fuck insane. That. Oh my god, that guy only has a one car. Everybody's frustrated. Right? And he's sitting there. Everybody's frustrated. Right, there's another one car. See guys just goofing and loofing like around the guy, and the truck hanging around and, and you know. Maybe he's driving it into the port. There's another it's single car. It's just crazy, bro. That's a drive away. I don't even know. How did they expect us to survive yeah, with maybe this? That's, that may be just a drive away. Can you see, there's, this? see, there's a single car there. Now, some of us have thing. bills to pay. Most of us don't. A lot of us have mortgages to pay. They should put pay. mile markers. <laughs> a lot of oh us have God. You're at mile notes, three. Right. Notes, You're at mile three. You're looking at three at this point, You'll never make Just it, buddy. Just look at the line. <laughs> like when you're going to ride a ride at Walt Disney right. World. It says, yeah, 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 right yeah, Walt Disney World. The guys well. down here, I bet you, and I kid you not, they they probably not going to go into that. The problem is if they did that, so people would just turn around and leave and say, okay, I'm driving these cars down someplace else. It doesn't get it out. to work. I mean, I think... That's the shit we're facing out here at the Port of Freeport. That's insane. You see, it keeps going. <laughs> really, it keeps... It's crazy. It's going. It really it's is going. nuts. That's nuts. Help us so we can help ourselves, <laughs> man. This it guy is, I'll is tell you, the man. best for making you this see video. this? Yeah. It's still going, bro. It is. Well, and you know, I, for those people who need care, to see for this because I, I don't care, think everybody realizes it. Want to see, this is like and this it's a bummer that probably most of these people are it, probably man. only getting you know forty cents. This guy's out cents here. They need to, to deliver forget these. It. And then they wait all day long. And there's an enclosed single car enclosed. Forget it. Proctology's looking pretty good right now. And this is where the sorry <laughs> line ends. And this is <laughs> this is the port of Freeport. What's, oh, that guy's probably going in to pick up. You guys out. Oh, Lord. You guys need to do a better job. He has job. nothing on. <laughs> Y'all need to do a better Unbelievable video. I mean, wow. Yeah. Um, That's yeah. That's insane. So, it is. It's really shocking. And it's almost like, so, when you're, if you're ordering your car on online... When you're waiting for processing, when the wheel is spinning, they should show that video. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So, your car is not a pizza, and this is reality right here. Um, yeah. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating. Um, okay, so we have 20 minutes left. If anybody has a comment, question... BM. Oh, that's so nice. Car transporters need more people like Sue. That is super nice. I don't appreciate it. Wow. That is super cool. I do. I didn't, appreciate I didn't it. know ports allow you entry so early, but that the and that was another thing I was thinking. Here's one thing. Uh, if that is 8 a.m. when they're still maybe those maybe like that front part hasn't been let in yet. But how many people do they let into the port at one time? Yeah, I think Still. probably each port has its own rules. And especially since COVID hit, I think it's changed what they allowed oh, in as God. well. Oh, you're right. It's probably single file, right? One at a time. Yeah. Like, well, it might be. Like yeah, if that, that was scary, the, but if true. that was let's say that was the line outside the bank. Would you say? No. <laughs> what, would, what, what would happen? I mean there number one, there'd be a riot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Number two, everyone would be on their phone calling customer service. I mean, it would be, isn't it weird? You can't even say riot now and like double think that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I know yeah, over in Baltimore, they'll, they'll sometimes spend the night waiting in line for the next morning and still take that long to get in there. Yes, this is Janet so let's, uh, let's lighten things up a little bit here. I want to do this. Okay. Um, yeah, I got okay. something else for you. Okay. So we showed this on Tuesday night. 
Um, we had uh, here. Let me hook up my. Uh, I'm just gonna. I got. I got, I got game show sounds. Oh, you can't see it yet. Okay, good. I haven't. Uh, I haven't switched the screen. Last minute questions and comments before we go into. We're gonna go into game show mode. You guys want to go into the game show? Okay. All right. We're gonna go into sure. ask. This is the Are You a Car Shipping Guru game show powered by Superflow and Auto Transport Intel. All right, here we go. What was the best selling car in the U.S. in 2020? Hmm. I have the answer. Hmm, I'm going to say Toyota Camry. It's either that or a Honda Accord. <laughs> oh, so we got Honda Accord. We got Toyota Camry. Anybody in the live chat have a guess? What's that? What was the best-selling car Good in the Lord. US? And by the it's way. It's the F-Series. It, it, huh. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, my God. I would have never thought that. Well, right. I don't like Ford anyways, but that doesn't help anything. <laughs> so. And if you... So on Tuesday night, here's the way we're doing this. On Tuesday nights, um, mm -hmm. we are we are unveiling the questions. Yeah, BM's got F-150. We're unveiling the questions on Tuesday nights live. And on Tuesday nights live, if you are one of the first folks to play Ask Larry, you click on the link, you click on Ask Larry on a Tuesday night, and I just shared it in the uh, live chat, you can win. But by Thursday, by the time we show the answers... I think the winning is over. So we'll see. All right, we got yeah, another one. Gotcha. You, you got a, you ready? Here we go. Yep. But if you What is the most appropriate rate to the carrier to ship a 2019 Honda Civic from Duluth, Georgia to Wyandotte, Michigan? By the way, mic check check. Can you guys it's hear me okay when I do that? When I do that music, can you hear me okay? Is it too loud? It's okay. I, I can hear you. Can can I? Is there an option of none of the above? Right. See, that's the interesting thing. You know what this is? Right. The the thing is, is this is according to Larry the Llama, the Quotify engine. What would you like to see? What do you think it should be? Yeah, I want you to. What what should it be? I I'm Wynadot. I think is way up north. I'm going to look right now. See, and I was so thinking I'll the same thing because we were just we were just talking about this route. And you had like what? You had uh Oh, it's Detroit. Okay, no, it's Detroit. Detroit. For some reason, I was thinking Wyandotte was up by the border. But um, still, you were making this from. I would. I would yeah, you were making that. You were doing six. I would do the seven ten. Seven ten. Yes. All yeah. Right. Exactly. So seven ten. It would be where I would be at minimum. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What we got here. Oh. Whoa. Ouch. Okay. So that I, I just ran it mileage. That's seven hundred and twenty two miles roughly. Well I did it from Atlanta. Let's do it from Duluth so we have the same thing. I'll tell you what I would have told the customer here. <laughs> BM says eleven hundred. <laughs> I probably would have quoted the customer like six, six fifty. Mm -hmm. right, I will so, tell you that most yeah. of the time they list them out of there, they're lower than five ten. I think right now, though, they have some on there for six out of Atlanta. This will be good. we got to get Mark. Uh, uh, I'll make a note to share this with Mark. He needs to see this stuff. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. Let's do another one. Go for it. Which of the following does not impact transport price? Size, color, or color. condition, or date. <laughs> right? And I told Color. Mark, there, sh there should always be a gimme. There should be one that even the kids can get, right? So, <laughs> right here we I, go. I would charge more for a red car. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And the answer is? Hold on. We don't have a new screen yet. You guys shoot me a new one. Yeah, Silverman says, yeah, that's some cheap freight. Very, very interesting stuff. Okay, here we go. We got another one. This is great. Are you a car shipping guru? What is the most appropriate rate to the carrier to ship an F-250 Super Duty from Portland, Maine 
to Pittsburgh. Go four one zero three. I'm looking it up. Yeah, I would want a dollar a mile. Let me see. What do you guys is, think? Please tell us in the miles. live chat. Six hundred and seventy-eight miles. I would either well, six eighty-five. I would do it for. I'd like seven seventy-five. So seven we'll say six eighty-five is probably the answer. Seven seventy-five. Final answer. I would like seven seventy-five. Okay. Well, that's what I'd like. It's going to come over different, but what you got for us? Six eighty-five. I said I would do it for six eighty five, but I'd want seven seventy five. Yeah, exactly. I'd want. I would want seven seventy. That was actually my answer too. I chose seven seventy five. I think we got yep. one more. You guys ready? This is pretty yep. exciting, huh? This is. Are you yeah. a car shipping guru? Only on Auto Transport Intel. You won't find this anywhere else. How many pilot flying J locations oh, wow. in North America? I know this one's a really good one. Hmm. Right, she's Googling. Not cool. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is seven fifty. Anybody else? Anybody? I don't oh, think he, anybody. Uh, uh, yeah. Nobody else answered. I wasn't yeah, sure. I was knows. almost leaning towards the twelve hundred, but I wasn't sure. Right? <laughs> so and, and and hats off to Mark because um I really like I like these questions. I like the dispersion yeah. of answers. This really is this is a really, really neat game. And um now the the truth is the truth is it was my idea. Um but yeah. he has taken it and run with it and I love I love it. It's really great. So listen, if you have, um, and you can go ahead and share your screen. We've got 10 more minutes. If you guys out there in TV land, if you have an idea, you got a company, product or service, you can share it in the live chat. You can email me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Maybe you've got a milestone coming up. You are ready to start advertising, getting the word out. You want to do an interview we can do a Friday noon on location with Ty Cars on the Move. If you think you're ready for the big time, Tuesday Nights Live is where I have my interviews, experts, and advertisers. Or if you know of somebody that should at least look into this and consider uh, joining a panel discussion, we also have the car shipping roundtables on uh, each month. Check, check, check. Man, my audio's light again. See, I think what happened is once I started doing those game show noises, check, check, uh -huh. check. Yeah. Uh, stinking, uh, so I can hear you fine. You can hear me okay? Well, the recording... I can hear you fine, yeah. You can hear me fine? Check, check, check. The recording, yeah. I think, will be a little light, but we'll, uh, we'll get through it. And if I'm... Um, if, okay, now it's, it's changing. Miami to Jacksonville? Is that what you're asking for, BM? Miami yeah. to Jacksonville. Awesome. Got... Cool, thank you. Oh, yes! I will kind of... I'll tell you what they're going to come up say right here in about two seconds. And you know what? <laughs> BM, I'm sorry. Um, I had that search earlier, and I got... I got caught up in the madness. Here we go. So usually what I see them on there for is any from, from 150 all the way up to like 250. But we're going to look and see what they got. And they're usually going to the port. Is that what you're looking for? Because we were just talking about how, how horrible ports are. And then we're right. Gonna <laughs> right. Oh, man. Right, so, this is not uh, the time for a 40 port cents commercial. a mile. Yeah. Okay, this is a good load. Blue Star is great, though. And they will do ACHs as long as you send over all your paperwork. I love Blue Star. They pay appropriately. Um, here's a two-pack. These are 45, 40 cents, 40 cents. And I guarantee you these are going to the port, too, which sucks. Um, I don't know. Is the Jacksonville port as bad as some of the other ports? I don't think no. so. Yeah, I think Jacksonville's but, on the better side, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I think there are certain days that are probably busier than others. I, I guarantee you Candy could tell uh, us. Yes. What we day to deliver. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, She's our port girl. What we're talking about is we actually have a, we have a connection. Check, check. We have a connection at the Jacksonville port. So if, yeah. you, uh, if you have questions about Jacksonville port, we can actually help you get some answers. Yeah. So let us know. Yeah. So these are like this is horrible. This is thirty eight cents a mile. Throw a red card at them. Um, it looks like, on average, you're probably looking at one hundred and fifties. What I kind of thought, 
That's not going to feed your family, though. I'll just be straight with you. And you can't do that with a big car hauler. You're not going to want to stop at all these places to pick up. And Opalaka, I believe, is the coke part over there. So those are probably in-ops on top of everything. Wow. And as you can see, I appreciate it. Okay, when they put in here, it's going to the port. You at least know whether you want to call them or not. Instead of wasting your time. I wish they would all do it, but they don't. Well, you could, and that's another thing. If if you really want to get, you can have a list of like little check boxes, you know, like mm -hmm. if you go to get your car maintenanced, right? Choice of words is bad, but you know, brakes, uh, you know, yeah. steering, fluids. We could have those little check boxes. It'd be amazing. <sighs> yeah, I mean, one hundred fifty isn't even fifty cents a mile, so. One could not afford to do this for that. I mean, oh personally. my gosh, that Smithville Auto Salvage, that one yeah, was thirty cheap, cents a cheap, mile. Cheap. Yeah, yeah, hundred bucks. Yeah, hundred bucks. Red one him. But but <laughs> I give him I give him a but. yellow because he gave so much information on the post. Whatever, it's still too cheap. He doesn't what deserve the, that. Did you guys hear this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, what do you guys think? You're going to do that for a hundred bucks? Really? <laughs> and it's going to the port <laughs> for a hundred dollars. No way. Yeah. PMs, yeah. He said four, three, three X for 400 bucks. Yeah, I know. Really? That's, That's crazy. Oh man. Hey, they're getting better. Three vehicles for 450. Not. <laughs> Call them up and ask them for six. <laughs> wow 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 making it rain sue the rainmaker let's see well we won't make a comment here but that's not good but i i know these aren't going to the port i'll tell you that much but i wouldn't do them for that either that's four vehicles for 550 And honestly, even if you did these for two hundred dollars a car, and you're going to the port, I don't know if that's worth it. It's to not. me, it wouldn't be. It's and, then, not. and then we should look. Honestly, we should look at Jacksonville back to Miami. I guarantee hey, there's hardly anything on here. Hey, news flash: we still have COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, true. That too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that I, honestly, it looks like the average price is like one fifty. You're going to get a few good ones here and there. Like, this is well, a good well, one. But wait a minute. They don't have COVID in Florida, right? <laughs> yeah, no. Not at all. No. <laughs> all right. Well, let's spin this around because I want to see what comes back out of there because I have a feeling it's going to be way worse. Uh-oh. She's doing the backhaul. Oh, by the way, on the new search, we wouldn't have to do that. They have back all up there. <laughs> right all right. 25 loads. What do we got? Daytona to Miami. Daytona to Miami. Wow. Wow. Okay, so, yeah. Really? That can't be right. This is, can't be right, just so you all know. They're not oh that my bad. God. <laughs> that, that's a mistake. Okay. Or they want you to or they want you to quote them or something. You have to go to the website to really look, but I think it's a mistake. It was posted yesterday. Right. Yeah. They were probably wondering why nobody's picked it up probably because it's listed for ten dollars. That is crazy. And then you get your chicken nuggets, you probably get it for twenty five. Oh my god. <laughs> I can add I can, I can add three bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy no. it looks like there's a bunch out of daytona beach for some reason going up there not enough to feed your family though for sure that sucks oh man yeah that's a bad I actually, run i know and there's I a lot of people that do this right i know i still don't know how I don't, I don't know. I don't know how, but but I, here's what I could see. Let's say you had your own customers. You're working with dealerships, right. and you've got an empty right. spot. I guess. Yeah. That but yeah. That, that, that. Other than that, I have no idea how you do this. No, I don't. You couldn't do it off of this. I can tell you that. And even if okay, so we used to haul stuff to for um, a couple of brokers. We were Georgia to Jacksonville back and forth, but we very rarely went to the port. 
And I will say, once you're doing this route with certain brokers, they will call you mm -hmm. and give you their loads every single time. So if you build up your business and the, I'm not saying fill up your business with the people who are paying crap rates, I'm saying do it with people who are paying decent mm -hmm. and then just say, Hey, anytime you've got something, give me a call. I'm do this every other day or something like that. And trust me, they will call you, especially if you do a good job and do what you're supposed to do. And, you know, you deliver when you're supposed to that kind of thing. Yeah. You always want to get on a company's Rolodex. Hey, we man, we lit BM up. Look at that. Boom. <laughs> BM is blowing up the chat. I love it. That's yes. super cool. Yeah. That's neat. Florida's bad. Yeah. I I mean, what we usually do with any driver that we've had in Florida, because we get people call us every once in a while, and they will ask us if we do in-state, and I'm like, no, I can't. Because honestly, okay, so if I did this for somebody that was doing in-state, one, by the time you pay me my percentage out, it's not enough for me to do it and it's not enough money for you to keep doing it. So that's why I don't do in state. We always run the auto Florida guys out of the state. We usually try to keep them out for two weeks at a time just because it, you take a hit going in and you should take a hit going out. So, and like I always say, Florida, you try to run the least amount of miles for the best money to get out of the state. And then you move forward after that. Same thing with Houston. It's kind of like when you're, Back in the day, when they were when the military was fighting, they'd just try to get you know a hundred feet at a time and then dig a new trench. It's kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, do we have anything else to look up? Let's see. And we only got a few minutes left. So um, once again, we know it's a long show, but we got to cover a lot of ground. We got to do Muggo problems. We got to do Are You a Car Shipping Guru with Larry. We got to watch a video. Sue shared a story about CarMax. And so that's what this show is all about. If you Whether you need to search a route or you're just looking for... Maybe you're dispatching right now and you're, you're, in, you're in the trenches and you need something to help you keep going. That's another function of Dispatching Live. So I really I appreciate you guys tuning in and joining us. Um, here are some ATI trivia for you, Jay. Which one of your videos highlighted R and R trucking? Whew. Wow, that is good, man. That is a really, really good. That's a really good. I do so many videos. He knows. But but he you knows, know, doesn't he? He well, he must know. And what's really interesting yeah, too is that I've thought about, like I've looked at some of my old videos. Like, man, I've, I've made so many videos that I can't keep track anymore. Um, and so that is just an awesome question. But I love it so much. Terry Brown, have a great day. Be safe and smile. It's a great day with Sue and ATIJ. Thank you, Terry. That is. Wow. Thank you. But I would love to know the I would love to know the answer. Um, Silverman is fast Eddie transport, right? Everyone's got their screen name and their company name and then their, you know, gaming alias. <laughs> so so um so if you have the answer, I'd love to know the answer. Um of course Murphy had a transport services. If you do, if you need a dispatcher, you have a dispatching question. If you watched the entire show but you weren't live, put your comments in the uh, below this YouTube video. Otherwise, Sue, thank you so much for another great day. It was fun. No problem. No problem. I appreciate it. Yeah. Get that Dayton one instead. Um, all right. Hey, Sue, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to wrap out the show. Okay. And okay. And I'll see you soon, okay? Okay. All right. See ya. Okay. Thanks, see everybody. You. Okay, so Sue is gone. Let her go. She's got to get back. That's that's tough, actually. You know, I got it. I got to hand it to Sue. Um, Ninety minutes out of a busy dispatch office day. I actually don't know how she does it. I really don't know how she does it. And I appreciate it so much. I'm so glad we get to do this every Thursday. Oh, look at that! Constantine is in here. What's up, Constantine? 
Uh, I don't know what the answer to that question is, and um, but I do recommend go back and watch. Here's what's cool. Um, if you wait a day or two, I actually update the video description, and you can go click in the description to the par part of the video. Um, you know, I got a lot in there, and you can, so you don't have to watch the whole show, because I know it's a long time, 90 minutes. Or you can listen to the podcast if you go to autotransportintel.com, click on podcast, and then you can listen to the show back. Um, I try to come up with themes for the shows, but, you know, it's 90 minutes. How do I find a theme in 90 minutes? But I will try. Oh, the hint is fire. Hint is fire. So there was a fire? Maybe a truck caught on fire? Uh, oh! You mean that video where I shot, I was driving past a trailer that was on fire? Oh man! I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think if you, if you go to YouTube and you look up like, truck fire. Good one, man. That was awesome. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, okay, it's 131. I'm out of time. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, this is Auto Transport Intel. This is the Car Shipping Business Channel. We go live four times a week. Yes, that's it. That's it. His truck caught on fire. Yeah, I totally didn't remember the name of that. Uh, that was a 53-foot dry van. And it, yeah, it was pretty weird. And that's actually near the beginning when I was starting up this channel. So that would have been summer 2017. Wow, that was great, man. That was fun. Um, so if you've got more trivia or ideas or questions, email me, autotransportintel at gmail.com. Put it in the YouTube comments below. Please do like, share, tell your friends. Um, we have a lot going on. We're really growing into, uh, we've really moved into the business space. And where carriers and auctions and dealers, I was watching an OEM webinar today. I'm always networking with more executives in the business space so that we can, we don't have to speculate as much. We can actually know, let's get to the front of the wave instead of being out in the back with the red loads, right? Let's get to the front. And so like Devin building a business, looking at sales and marketing, etc. Love that stuff. And I got it. I got it. That's so cool. Man, that was a really good one. Thank you guys so much. Uh, be sure to tune in tomorrow for Friday Cars on the Move. Oh, we have a broker guest tomorrow. Um, Nathaniel from ASAP. It's a brokerage, and um, but he, I mean, really cares about his carriers. So tune in, ask questions, sit back and watch. Um, bring your popcorn and your Cheetos or whatever your favorite snack is. And it's sunny again, and hopefully life is getting a little bit more normal. Keep us posted. Thank you guys so much. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.